Okay, I'm uh, hoping this works because this old camera is kind of crappy. But uh, I'm doing those talk about characters in your own voice meme things now, even though it's been like two weeks since I reblogged that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, it's almost Christmas. That's my excuse. That's my excuse for everything. Um, so um, Alex sent me a few, so I'm going to do... The first one she sent me was Sherlock Holmes, which everyone will regret asking me, or everyone will regret that you asked me that, because I'm obsessed with Sherlock Holmes, and I can go on. Um, I was introduced to Sherlock Holmes from by my friends that I'm actually not, we're not really close anymore, but um, when I was in, I was homeschooled, and when I was in, uh, it was called Homeschool Performing Arts, where we did like shows and stuff, and I became friends with them through there, and they came over to our house and we'd film things sometimes we did a parody of a series of unfortunate events and we did some other like short film type stuff it was mostly just joking around it wasn't like serious but um and they suggested to do Sherlock Holmes because they'd just seen um a study in Scarlet with Rupert Everett which um I guess that was their only real exposure to Sherlock Holmes too which is kind of weird but um so they coached me on how to act because they cast me as Sherlock Holmes and they coached me as how to act. So I got really interested in the character from their description and decided to watch the movie with Rupert Everett. So Rupert Everett was my first uh, Sherlock, which is kind of weird because he's uh, not your everyday Sherlock. But um, then I um, was introduced to the Granada series, which absolute favorite. You can't go wrong. Um, Jeremy Brett. Uh and discovered how much I like this character and how much I related to him through like the pursuit of intel of um int like intellect and um uh being able to read people really easily and um so I, re I read the stories and I saw I've seen almost every version of Sherlock Holmes that's been made um even the new ones uh any adaptations uh Sherlock Hound uh, the ones I haven't seen are, there's this really cool one that I want to check out, which is a gender bent. Both characters, not like, not like elementary, it's just, it's just Watson. The, it's a gender bent, so I think it's Russian. I gotta check it out. And then, um, also, uh, Jack suggested a Hallmark version that he said was his favorite, so I'll have to check that out too. Um, but for the most part, I've seen them all. Um, my favorite thing, my favorite thing about Holmes is his, like, his hidden humanity. Like, he, he, people always say, you know, oh, he's a, he's a jerk, he's a, um, sociopath, like in, uh, Sherlock, BBC Sherlock, um, and that he only cares about Watson, but the truth is, in the stories, there's a lot of humanity there, and he cares about people, and he wants to help people, and that's why he does what he does, and I think that's really, um, something to be admired, and, uh, certainly he doesn't let emotions, you know, cloud his, uh, his deductions and his judgment, but, um, He's not wholly lacking in caring for people. He doesn't go around saying horrible things and then asking Watson was that a bad thing to say because he knows. He knows, I mean, at the very least, he knows social graces. Um, even if it's not to be nice, but rather to manipulate people, which he does um, through, you know, disguise and stuff. And um, he's, uh, I think the idea of someone who can't connect to a lot of people, that he connects to one person, speaks a lot to me like uh him and watson whether you believe they're romantic or you know platonic whether you believe they're uh just friends whether you believe they're you know going off and whatever whether you believe like the people who used to speculate that watson was secretly a woman you know um i'd actually be more interested in if holmes was secretly a woman Ooh, no um <laughs> but the it's uh just this idea of someone who almost soulmates you know it's the same discussion we've had with herbert and dan um uh i actually feel that similar to about about newton herman um uh, is the that this idea of two male friends or a female friend two female friends a male and a female it doesn't matter um who just they understand each other they complete each other there's a you know where you know where uh where Holmes is, you know, cold calculating, um, he sees things one way, and, you know, like, and then there's Watson who offers him a different view on things, uh, um, even if it's just to bounce his ideas, you know, bounce his ideas off another person, and see a different view that way, and I find that really, um, really intriguing in fictional, uh, explorations of characters, um, 
my personal favorite is uh, Jeremy Brett, of course. Um, though, um, and though I enjoyed, I've enjoyed a lot of other versions. I think that one's remained my favorite. I don't think it will change anytime soon. Um, my favorite, I, I can't decide between the two Watsons though, David Burke or um, Edward Hardwick. I know that's not what this video is about, but I can't decide because they they offer different things to the to the character. I feel like uh, David Burke's very much the the young, easygoing Watson who you could believe has had you know has had many romantic conquests, and the, um, Edward Hardwick is the older you know married Watson who said he settled down, he's calmed down, but he still you know cares about Holmes, and he's almost like a mother figure to Holmes, which is kind of cute. It's like it's like how we talk about Dan being being a mom. Um, this is kind of going off the rails, so um, I'm gonna leave it because it's um almost six minutes long. So uh, hopefully that wasn't completely incomprehensible.